Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be making the shell into an actual running locomotive. I bought this for 50 cents, as you can see right there. It's got its front cover, light, the number board's really nice and crisp. It's got its magnet, and that's it. This shell's in pretty good condition, too. Um, we will be using a donor locomotive, which you will see uh, later on in the video. I will first start disassembling it, and then we will disassemble this one here. The only thing we have to remove is uh, the weight, and then um, we should be in business. So without further ado, let's get started with this quote-unquote impossible restoration. Here is our donor locomotive. This is another Mantua Tyco. This one was customized, as you can tell. Um, they did an alright job, except for it's flaking off. I really, really, really don't think that this is an actual locomotive that Tyco made. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So, now we got that all out here, we need to get out our light here because it's still tied in, right? So, we're going to use our flat head. And we are going to unscrew that. You gotta be very, very gentle because these are not easy. See that? All right, got that out. We have successfully removed all the components to this locomotive that we will need, except for the horn. But otherwise, that's all we need from that. So we will start taking out the shell we don't need 50 cents on here. It's a really, really good shell for 50 cents. Um, so, let's get started on that right now. Now, I thought it came out like the other one, but no, this is apparently different. It has these little snapping things. So basically, you really just like pull these out, I think. Because the other one just fell out on me. Yeah, look, literally just snap out. Never seen that. That is really cool. It is easier to remove this one than that one. So you really don't want to lose those. Now, it looks be as if. Mm. See, because now the plastic shell's holding it in right there with those one and two. Um, there we go. One side. Mm. We're gonna work on the other side. No clue. Let's get that set up. We'll do this off camera. All right, you guys. I did that off camera now. So what we will do now is we will insert our trucks on time lapse. So now I had to put tape around this here. Usually there's a screw there. Cause that's how it was on that one but this one's a different version or whatever so it has its thing broken off inside so it'll just be loose and dangling around so whatever but let's get this back in now that we have gotten that all assembled we got that put back in here and uh, got that tape the light taped up um now it doesn't have new horns right well we got one horn here and we'll take the other dummy A unit and rip off a horn here too and apply that on. But first we have to clean the shell because it's all dirty. Got our cloth here. I'm just gonna go over it like so. Make sure it's all clean. Sides too. And just a front top me. Other side. Get all that gunk off our 50 cent look money. And here's what we're going to use for our guide. So this one goes forward, right here, inserted. And come on. We don't want to break this. Let's take it out. Do this off camera. Got that one, and the other one goes the opposite direction. Oh. 
perfect. And here we have a whole totally brand new locomotive. Now let's take this thing to the track and see how she runs. All right, guys, we have got this on the track and it looks fantastic. I can't believe this only took me around like 30 minutes to do. Now, um, from shell to 30 minutes later with new handrails, new that, new everything really. And I think it looks fantastic. So without further ado, let's see if it runs. So three, two, one. Oh, jeez. Well, that's great. Well, I already know how the old one ran, so this is pretty much the new, the new one. And let's see, reverse. Got reverse too, and it sounds great. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, this was a really good restoration here. Um, see you all in the next restoration, and thank you all for watching. Bye now.